Hey Prop Tech readers, Kaylee here. I'm on the Severn River today on the Seaborn LX26. This is currently the newest and largest center console from Seaborn Boats. This is a dual purpose boat, so it's easily able to accommodate both pleasure boating and fishing. Another key fact, it is a step tall. You don't see too many step talls in this size and price range. It also has a wide beam, making for a very stable ride. In a minute, we're gonna take her out, see what she looks like. We're also gonna get Eric from Power Sports of Crofton out here, and he's gonna go over some of the key features of this model with us. So today I'm here with Eric Keegan from Power Sports of Crofton. So Eric, thank you for having no problem, us today. No problem, no problem. Um, so one of the first things I noticed when I got on the boat was, of course, the Honda outboards yes. and just how quiet they are. They are truly quiet. Um, that's really what I think sets Honda apart from a lot mm -hmm. of the other manufacturers. Um, you know, we, we take customers out. That is pretty much the first thing they say also. Um, you hear a little bit of the water, but the engine just has this nice, quiet hum to it. Um, it even sounds the same, even under throttle. It's, it's impressive. And, um, you know, it's just, it's very smooth. I mean, people know the Honda brand. They mm -hmm. know it's for their quality and reliability. And I think that when you hear the sound and it just kind of builds that feeling of reliability, quality. Exactly. And uh, what is the top end for this model? So this is max horsepower 500 for mm -hmm. this LX26. Um, and you're about 60 miles an hour. So it's not a slow boat. Um, really the hull design kind of lends itself to a bit more performance, mm -hmm. uh, being that it has two steps. So on the performance side of this boat, uh, one of the things that sets it apart is it's a hybrid hull. Um, the reason that's important for customers in our area is a lot of people live in the shallower rivers and they want to get out to the bay. They want to get there quick and they want to be able to get to their dock at low water depth. So the fact that this boat does 60 miles an hour gets you out to the bay pretty darn fast and it only drafts 15 inches of water. So when you combine those two, it really makes sense for customers that live in this area. So when it comes to the electronics, Seaborn's really got us covered here with this Garmin setup. Two 12-inch screens, everything is touch screen. So all your audio controls, your navigation, maps, everything is right there. Um, very easy, very customizable. Uh, makes it really easy to see. Uh, so in the evenings and the lights low, they're auto dimming. So that is a really nice feature that I like. Another th touch that Seaborn did for the 2023 model lineup is they went ahead and did some backlit switches. They got rid of a lot of the standard toggles and I really like this look. It's very clean as well. Controls and throttles are Honda's IST. That's intelligent shift and throttle. So it's all drive by wire. Makes it really easy to dock the boat um, so you can put forward and reverse and uh, make maneuverability much, much easier. Give you a little bit more confidence when you're coming into the fuel dock. Um, the helm itself here is adjustable up or down. So you're very comfortable when you're sitting or standing. The LeBrock standard um, uh, helm bolsters here are great. They're powder coated and they have a step up here so you can comfortably put your feet up while underway. So Eric, uh, can you tell us about some of the features of the hardtop? I mean, I think this is a sunshade and we have quite a few rocket launchers. Yeah, yeah, there's 12 rocket launchers on here. Uh, I think one of the benefits of this boat with its T-top uh, is made by Seaborn, so it's not an aftermarket T-top. It's extremely solid even on the roughest days. Um, really, really good for when you're trolling for some monster fish mm -hmm. that I never catch, but you know, everybody else does. <laughs> One of the other standard features on the LX26 is the integrated tuna door. Um, makes it really simple. Pull this open. And now you have easy access in and out of the boat, as well as for dragging in those big fish. Okay, let's walk up to the bow and talk about some of the key features up here. So for a 26 foot boat, I mean, it's quite roomy up here. Like there's a ton of space. It really is. In this size class, that's actually pretty rare. Mm -hmm. Great for family. I mean, that's what this boat is designed to do. Family fun sitting out. Um, but yet when you want to go and do some fishing, it does that really well to also. LX26 also features a windlass. Not only do you have forward uh, buttons, we also have them back at the helm. Looking for a place to store your drinks on the LX26? We've got you covered. You don't even need to bring your own cooler. Integrated is a sea freeze cooler, keeps your ice for days, and it's got two separate compartments to keep your beverages separate from everybody else's. 
Now I see what you mean about this being a dual purpose boat. I mean, this is quite comfortable. Exactly. When the table stows down, you put the sun pad out, and this just becomes a big casting platform. So I noticed there's a nice uh, full-size head on board. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. Really easy access. Porcelain head here. It's got a pump out. One of the things I really like about this compartment is none of the wires are exposed. You can't see the back side of any of the uh, electronics, so your kids aren't down there pulling on wires and things like that. Also, we have a window in there just to give you a little bit more, um, you know, uh, fresh air. This is pretty roomy, I have to say. So Eric, thank you so much for showing us around the Seaborne LX26 today. If people want to learn more, what should they do next? Yeah, you can contact us at uh, hondofcrofton.com. I'm happy to take anybody out on the boat and really let them experience it firsthand what the Seaborne can offer. Awesome, thank you so much. Not a problem. Don't miss another Prop Talk video. Subscribe to our channel today.